So apparently um, Donald Trump had come out against uh, the climate change report, which Gavin Newsom, I saw it was like a promoted, you know, post or whatever on Facebook. But the the point is that I'm making now um, is that the whole climate change thing is real. Okay. And I'm saying that from the standpoint that climate change uh, or that climate changes periodically on a, um, you know, by decade and by multi decade uh, transitions. And it has been documented throughout history of the changes in climate, um, most particularly. The interesting um, per, uh, period in time was the creation of America. And back in the uh, 1600s and, and even before that, you know, they were coming out of a mini ice age and they were looking for land. Um, they were looking for land so that they can grow food. Um, you know, look what happened to, uh, as we've all heard, the Irish. You know, during the potato famine, they had to they had to leave their country because they were literally starving and the kingdom of uh england or the uk or the yeah england and, and probably even scotland said you know what we can't feed these people you know you guys are gonna have to go find food somewhere else and when you're starving you literally have to take everything you got and you have to take a ship to another country in order to survive i don't know about you but that's pretty harsh conditions as far as you know life goes i mean i i'm living in an era where you can go to the store and buy anything you could possibly imagine even if it's off season that's crazy okay um, but the climate does change, and with the change of climate comes the rise and fall of civilizations and the rise and fall of empires. Now, the question is, is America going to be a fallen empire during a time where climate changes exponentially? Um... I don't think so, because the differences between now and when our forefathers came over here, they did not have technology. Um, most certainly, they did not have, um, you know, weather modification capabilities. And if anybody, uh, knows anything about weather modification it happens every day specifically in the middle east where they have no water but to get away from that and to stick to the topic of climate change um the trump administration came out and basically uh you know had something to say about this said, so, uh, just this last Wednesday, the president tweeted, Brutal and extended cold blast will shatter all records. Whatever happened to global warming? Now, the global warming phenomenon happened actually quite a long time ago. And all the scientists got involved in this scheme, this tax scheme, uh, the carbon credit scheme. And they essentially... We're trying to get people to pay into this so that they can rake the benefits. Well, there was a large group of people who caught on to this and said, No, we're not. This is stupid. You guys are dumb. Which they are dumb. For thinking that there wasn't going to be pushback against this. Anyways... Um, so 
It says the report, the second of four such annual studies commissioned by Congress, concludes that not only the world's temperature is rising, and uh, but also that the preponderance of evidence suggests human actions play a role in it. The report's authors conclude that the changing climate is transforming where and how. We live and presents growing challenges to human health and quality of life, the economy, and the natural systems that support us, and that unless we change our practices and policies, there will be substantial damage to the U.S. economy, environment, and human health and well-being over the coming decades. The report goes on to detail the economic impact of climate change, hundreds of billions lost, with farms being hardest hit and the physical toll it could take on our collective health as factors like air quality, disease transmission by insects, food and water increasingly threatening the health and well-being of the American people. Um, the White House has allegedly dismissed the report as a partisan hit job by Obama loyalists who relied on extreme models to draw conclusions. It should be noted that the disastrous climate change report heralding the apocalypse comes on the heels of the report in Nature that showed the global tree canopy increased 865,000 square miles in the past 30 years from Daily Wire's Hank Barron. According to a new study published in Nature, in the roughly quarter century between 1982 and 2016, global tree canopy cover increased by 865,000 square miles. The greatest increase in the tree canopy occurred in Europe, including European Russia, where it exploded by 35%. A close second was found in China, where the tree canopy gained 34%, and in the U.S the U.S., the tree canopy increased 15%. Um, so, in regards to the Paris climate, it goes on to say, under President Trump, the United States pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement, which put America on track to reducing greenhouse emissions by 26%, while handing over billions of dollars to the United Nations. Now, that's something you have to keep in mind, because this is the same thing that's happening with Brexit. Okay, They're paying... Four, I think it was like 49 billion pounds just to leave the EU. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, it says, so we are getting out, but we will start to negotiate and we will see if we can make a deal. If we can, that's great. But if we can't, that's fine, said Trump in June 2017. In order to fulfill my... Uh, Solemn duty to protect America and its citizens, the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord and begin negotiations to re-enter either the Paris Accord or really an entirely new transaction on terms that are fair to the United States, its businesses, and its taxpayers. So Donald Trump, you know, not only did he call this shenanigans a fraud, for what, which is essentially what it is, because temperature rises and falls and um, you can't justify human activity to global change, okay? Just because there's, you know, 250 million new cars or something like that doesn't mean that that those emissions directly impact global temperatures they don't there's a lot of factors that change climate and you have to take all of them into consideration you can't just choose oh we're going to go with co2 and we're going to we're going to use this graph and super scary graph that shows that co2 levels are off the charts which by the way um, more CO2 causes greening on the planet which in turn creates more oxygen so there's that but my point is in this whole thing 
is that we have a president of the United States who literally stood up against global government tyranny. If that's not Americana, I don't know what is. Because this guy, Donald Trump, just saved not only $100 billion that was going to get, you know, paid towards all these corrupt government officials, but he also stopped people from selling pre-purchased carbon tax credits for trillions of dollars on the open market or in the, I think it's uh, the commodity. They're going to sell as a commodity. Now we'll see what happens, but the fact that he's questioning it and that he's, you know, basically saying like, prove it, show me this is true. And I will think about it. Not, oh yeah, we got to do this. This is crazy. We're all going to die. Like how everybody else sounds that preaches climate change. Now, the other thing that people have to take into consideration is this right here. This is called the sun. And this changes its polarity every 11 years. It goes from solar minimum to solar maximum. And the plasma physics and the solar dynamics and the thermodynamics all change. The magnetic field changes. It causes our planet to to, uh, get stronger magnetosphere or weaker magnetosphere. It causes the aurora borealis. This one thing right here has more influence on our planet than anything you could ever determine that's in our solar system. Unless there is some unknown entity outside that has influence on the the planet, that I don't know about, I would imagine there might be. Now there's cosmic rays, but that's for a different that's for a different video. This sun is number one when it comes to what is going on on this planet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.